<laughs> may not apply to everyone. <laughs> oh, that oh, hit close to home. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Jordan and welcome to my reaction to My Dress Up Darling Season 1 Episode 2. Last time on we had the introduction of Wakana and Marin to the story, some backstory for Wakana and how his life works and then of course the fateful confrontation between the two in the sewing room where they shared their own passions with each other. And now I guess Wakana has agreed to help Marin with her cosplay so let's see what happens now. And let's get right into the episode. <laughs> We're starting off here. That is an... That is a long title. Slippery Girls 2. What the fuck? I wonder if we're gonna get into any of the technical stuff about suing. Wanna hurry up and do it? It's an ROG, of course. It probably is, yeah. The what now? <laughs> what? <laughs> the humiliation club? What? <laughs> She's totally honest. Yeah, she is earnest. <laughs> God. to everyone. <laughs> oh, that oh, hit close to home. <laughs> oh, that's handy. <laughs> and even then she couldn't use one? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, at least she's genuinely thankful. I thought he would react to the cosplay guy he had there. I think he read that he needs to take her measurements or something like that. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't have much patience. Hey. She got him something. Is this PC on the floor? <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Yep, and then that pulls and everything. <laughs> He's gonna open his eyes and she will be right by his face. Yep. <laughs> Talk it out, it's okay. Is she oblivious to that or she just doesn't care? Okay. <laughs> but a bathing suit is kinda even more revealing than underwear. <laughs> He's dead. Absolutely dead. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Is it really such a big deal to you? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why is this so tense? <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Is he gonna get his composure together? <laughs> yes, put your game face on. Doing so good. <laughs> she doesn't care anymore. <laughs> How are you sweating this much? <laughs> oh, he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we've been over this. <laughs> Does he not? Is he gonna realize he's touching her or something like that? <laughs> 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 
Because it went immediately to his imagination or what? <laughs> and what's that? He touched her. <laughs> he doesn't realize, of course. <laughs> yeah, that probably wasn't comfortable for her. And he's supposed to play those? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! At least turn the sound off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Alright, that episode was a lot of fun to be honest. I liked how much they went into the details of measurement, explaining what kind of measurements might not be entirely obvious to someone, like the inseam or the bust point, <laughs> whatever that was. And of course, Gojo's behavior while all of that was happening, constantly blushing, constantly being completely embarrassed. That was like looking in the mirror of an earlier version of me or a younger version at least. I was similar to that when I was that age, at least blushing at the smallest thing. <laughs> but yeah, this anime continues to be pretty edgy, which, eh, okay, I'm fine with it. I'm not a big fan of it, but still, I can tolerate it at least. And of course, with it being edgy, the first character she wants to cosplay as is of course from an ROG game. Slippery Girls too. like what kind of title is that even? And then the fucking expressions that we got from uh, the maid cosplay girl. I don't remember her name. Shimizu Tan? Something like that? Maybe. And of course Kitagawa hit it pretty close to home with her mention to Gojo of what does it matter if you're a boy or a girl when you're deciding on your hobbies. Which of course connected directly to his backstory. So yeah, I'm super excited to see if this is going to be explored much more, if you're going to see that character that left this emotional scar on Gojo again, or if it's just constant callbacks to it. Other than that, we of course saw the kind of personality that Kitagawa has this episode even more, in that she doesn't have a lot of patience, so that she immediately searches on Google basically for his home and goes there on a Saturday because she can't wait until Monday to become her and her being mostly completely okay with being undressed kind of <laughs> one thing I never got is the difference between swimwear and underwear I don't see how underwear is more sexual than swimwear they're both just huh. I mean, when you're in puberty, of course you're gonna blush whenever seeing any of these, but at this point, what does it matter? So yeah, pretty weird distinction there. But Gojo survived, even though he wanted to die the whole time he was doing it. But he did do it in the end. And Kitagawa did blush at some point as well, because he did touch her at a pretty not cool spot, I guess. And yeah, the, that was probably pretty uncomfortable for her, which I didn't like very much. 
But yeah, now that measuring is over, we're gonna go to the next step. And that's probably gonna be making the outfit. And I hope that's gonna go well, because Gojo definitely did his research now with the ROG game. Of course, explaining nothing of that to his grandpa, causing mild confusion, basically. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> And I'm pretty excited for the next episode and to what kind of shenanigans they're gonna get up to then. So, as always, if you like this reaction, you can like, comment, subscribe or share this video. These are generally the best things that you can do for me for free and that would help me out the most right now. As well, checking out my Patreon, where you can find things like early access to any of my non-life reaction shows, which are basically my dress up darling and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure right now. And what's available there as well is, of course, the full-length timer reaction to basically all of the shows that I watch, where you can sync up your own episodes to my reaction timer and watch it like that. So if you're interested in any of that, go check it out down in the description below. But with all of that out of the way, I hope I'll see you in the next episode, and until then, bye bye